Greetings and welcome back to the Galley of the Sun. So tomorrow we're going to have bulgogi. As you well know is Korean beef. Now I'm not going to do it on the grill. I don't have the cool table where you can do it like that. We're going to do it in a skillet, but it's still going to be amazing. So to get that incredible flavor, we're going to have to marinate uh, our meat overnight. So what I have is about uh, three pounds of sliced ribeye because again, I am feeding a horde here at the Galley of the Sun. The recipes and all the amounts for everything is in the comments for a one pound beef serving. Let's put together that marinade. First of all, we have our soy sauce into a Ziploc bag. And then we have our honey. We have red wine. You can use white wine. You can use mirin if you have it. Sesame oil. Sesame seeds. <laughs> if you've been watching us, you know garlic. Lots and lots of garlic. Some brown sugar. Some black pepper. Some diced green onions. And then what makes all of this work? A shredded Asian pear. That is really going to help tenderize that meat. Now, we're using sliced ribeye. You can use sliced flank steak. You can use sliced New York strip. Uh, whatever you got. If you happen to have sliced ribeye, oh hell yeah, use it. Okay, so I'm going to seal this up. Then we get all that mixed together. Make sure you have all that brown sugar incorporated, especially if you had some uh, brown sugar that was a bit dried out. Oh, absolutely amazing. So we're going to, uh, once my meat gets fully thawed out, I'm going to get this in here and get it all spread around. Remember, if you're using those thin slices, it's going to take a little bit to make sure that you get every piece of meat coated. And then put it in the refrigerator, let it sit overnight, and then we'll see you tomorrow to make this masterpiece. See you then. So here we are on Bilgogi Day. My beef has been marinating all night, that delicious ribeye and that great marinade we made yesterday. Something I didn't mention, if you want more heat, and as I've said a million times, we aren't a huge fan of heat for heat's sake here at the Galley of the Sun, you can add some of this Go Chu Jang paste to your marinade and you'll get some heat. Add more, you'll get more heat. So uh, I'm going to get the rice going, then we're going to go over to the stove, got the uh, griddle out. You can do this on your grill if you wish. It's very windy today, so I'm not going to do that, but uh, we'll get this beef cooked. This is really a pretty simple recipe. All right, so here at the stove, we got our cast iron griddle down. We're going to get both of those burners on about medium high heat. I have my Dutch oven here to put the meat in to keep it warm once I have it cooked. So knock this out. All right, so these are super thin. It's not going to take long. All we're trying to do is get them cooked about medium rare, which will be quick and get a little bit of color on them. Now, if you don't want to go this, this extent, you could put them all in a skillet and then just cook them until you don't see any more pink. But we got a little bit of time here, so go ahead and try and get these done get some browning on them the rice is done let's get this plated up and get to eating all right the director's coming around to give this a try Hey, first of all, if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button and don't miss an episode. Okay, director, let me know if I succeeded. Hopefully this is the best bulgogi that you've had today. Well, did I nail it? Yummy. Yeah. Fantastic. There you go. Hey, give this a try. We hope you enjoyed what you saw today. And until we see you next time, fair winds and following seas.